Hello, Design Nature. My name is Jay Ying Wei, and this is what my original hopper looked like. As you can see, it has eight joints and looks like a frog. When I built my first prototype, I immediately found that I had several problems. It was extremely difficult setting it up in its initial position. What had happened was that its back legs kept slipping outwards. Another problem with my hopper was that the way it jumped did not align with my design goals, which was for it to hop forward. The first iteration of my hopper jumped like this. I also found that the way I attached my suction cup was bad. It was dangling horizontally, which created an extremely weak attachment to the table, essentially negating its trigger properties. In an effort to reach my design goal, I decided to remove the upper legs of my hopper, which reduced the number of joints from 8 to just 4, which also changed the way it jumped. At this point, I was willing to try almost anything, so I compressed the hopper, and it jumped forwards. With that new revelation, I decided to take that idea and run with it. In my CAD, I decided to make several changes. I decided to lengthen the back legs, remove vestigial cutouts, and added a hole for my suction cup to stay. And finally, increased the tube holding slits from 1mm to 1.2mm, which made installation easier. This is hopper number two. I intend to vary the length of the latex tubing to see if it will have a positive effect on my hopper's distance. Latex tubing to see if it will have a positive. I intend to vary the length of my latex tubing. There wasn't enough of a gap between the two. Start over. And this is what my original looks like. Uh, see, it has four joints. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it running.